What is up, YouTube? Jake Thompson here again. You guys, I have got something super amazing. I've, I've never done this before with a video. We have got a professional version and then a DIY version. Be sure and check out the whole thing because there's gonna be tips and tricks, whether you're here to just check out some hair, cut some hair, go get your hair cut, whatever it is. It is amazing. Let's get the cut. Let's let the insanity begin. Let's do this, guys. I'll see you in the video. First off, I am gonna do the professional version. Now, if you're not really interested in that, yeah, skip forward, whatever, but I would highly suggest watching both because again, they're just, they're awesome. I wanna break down how I parted these. So what I first did is I found a center part. 100% center right down the middle because we are gonna have a lot of open kind of like just fringe shag, you know, in this front area. Now you can vary the length depending on how short you wanna cut the front because that's gonna really dictate how short you cut everything else, you know, throughout this haircut. So again, if you wanna go for a longer version, you can go for a longer version, but we're gonna cut it to where she has definitely some nice fringe around the front and that's gonna be for both perspectives. And we're gonna find a wider fringe that is going to go below this bone. So basically about a finger, you know, finger, like a finger depth lower than that. So right below that actual bone, right in that specific area. Then what we wanna do is then we actually wanna find the parting from the side. So we're gonna find from this particular point down to the top of the ear. And that is gonna be on both sides, just like that. Then what we wanna do is then from this top perspective, you can see this is gonna be the rest of the hair back through here. So let's start cutting this professional version first. Okay, so first section we wanna start with, we wanna start with the Mohawk section. Now this is gonna basically be that section right over that nose. Now I'm going to push this forward and this is going to come all the way forward, just like that. Now what we wanna do is we're just going to cut straight up. And then we're going to take, and every section is going to go, come straight into that previous section. That's what she said. <laughs> when I say come into that previous section, we're over directing it right into that section. Now what I'm gonna do is we're going to come over here, do the same thing on the opposite side. I'm gonna be pushing this away from me. I can check and I can use this. And I can look straight at you guys and make sure that I am straight over that section. Boom! You can see how cool that is, just like that. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. That is awesome! We're gonna take these sides now, and we're gonna hold these forward, as you can see. Cut this out of the way, just like so. And then I'm going to be kind of extending and pushing this and adding a little bit more length and pushing that out. So I'm kind of adding a little bit more length at that bottom portion. So you can see how it kind of angles out a little bit more. And I'm going from almost cutting it like straight up and down to an angle like that. And the reason for that is you want to kind of extend and bring a little bit more length down through there. Now I'm gonna take a little bit more of this hair and I'm going to stand in front because I wanna cut everything down. That is super important. And as I'm starting to angle up, and you can see at that angle, and I'm starting to angle a little bit more horizontal. Take a little bit more of that section. So I'm dividing that small section on the side 
into three subsections. Okay, so that is essentially how you cut that front and the side area. So you are working, so you are working everything forward and you're bringing everything to that center guy just like that. Now, as you start to bring that, you're gonna create this curve around the front, which will create this perfect kind of angled look. It's gonna be fabulous. And then as you start to connect those sides, you're working from an angle like this, and then you start to gradually add a little bit more length on that side area. Now what we wanna do is that we need to connect the back. And the back is going to be connected by going from the longest portion of this very top fringe portion, just like that. And so what we wanna do is we're gonna see where our guide is at. So you can see where your guide is at, just like that, on that top portion. And we are going to cut that straight across. Take this section again all the way down. You want to reach until the hair does not reach anymore. But I think that this hair is going to reach all the way down. We're going to take the next section that is right next to that center one that we just cut. And the one thing you have to keep in mind is that these sections that I'm cutting in the back are all coming straight up to the ceiling. You know, they're not being over directed in any other specific way. They are just basically coming straight up from where they live. How did you find out where I live? Now to blend these two sides together where that came straight down, we're gonna push this forward and we're gonna start to kind of point cut some of those pieces, we're gonna be pushing some of this hair forward and really just connecting some of that stuff. Coming forward and connecting that, that hair. Same concept over here on this side. You can see some of those longer bits. We can take off just like that. Okay, we're gonna put this aside for just a minute. It was at this moment he knew. He guys up. Get that audio dialed in, cause it was blinking, it was blinking red. It's like, oh shit. Guys. That would suck if the audio went out. Let's go ahead and get this dry, and uh, then we'll actually cut the DIY. There's some refinement that needs to be done because basically the hair is like right in her eye or and, and or if you're gonna do this on yourself. There are some things that we would need to be doing to really just kind of make this come alive. But already you can tell the shape is gonna be absolutely fabulous. It is considered a, it's, it's very shag-ish. One of the things that I wanna do right now is you're gonna see this angle basically going from shortest right here in the center and it's gonna get longer. So we're going to enhance that, which is gonna be awesome. And so what I wanna do is I'm actually gonna come in here and I'm gonna take these scissors, which are, these are some chunkers. These are some of my favorites. And so I'm gonna take some of those. I'm gonna put that right in that comb area right there. And then I'm just slowly going to remove some of that bulk while creating that shape. Bring this over, just like so. Get that. 
Of course, if this was on a real person, I wouldn't be doing this right up against her eye. I would still kind of hold that out just a little bit. But seeing that it's a mannequin, you can get away with more. Then over here on this side, come in. Now that that is that, and we've kind of refined that, let's go ahead and do the DIY. So I've already parted this off and the parting is going to be exactly the same as the professional version. The only thing now is we're going to be putting everything, well we've already put everything in ponytails. So with everything being in ponytails, I'm going to show you here, you've got, and I started off with that center part right through there and then I put that in a ponytail as you can see that just like that. Then what I did is then I took these two sections right through here, over directing it forward, putting in a ponytail. But before I did that, I parted it just right over the top of the ear, as you can see right through here, right over the top of the ear, right there, right over here on this side. You can see right over here on top of the ear, exactly. Center portion, you can see right through here. Boom, down. So, and then you've got this to where this goes right, right below, or basically where that bone is at, it's just like right behind that bone right through there. Then this top portion, everything is combed up, combed up to the ceiling, boom, right to you, and then put in a ponytail right up through there. Now the reason why I actually wanna do two different versions is so you can see how when you put everything, when you're cutting it in a professional perspective and everything's like cut very linear and very clean and very just precision, you'll see how when you put it in a ponytail, you're going to get more beveling happening. And what that means is beveling is when you, when you put that in a ponytail, it's gonna bevel out a lot more. It's gonna bevel out a lot more. So we're actually gonna see more curvature in the front than we did on the professional version. So that's kind of, you know, it, it, it's, you know, to the professional eye versus the consumer eye, you know, the professional eye would be able to tell the difference. From a consumer eye to a consumer eye, you wouldn't really be able to tell that much. And that's what's kind of amazing about this. So let's get started. So first off, basically I'm gonna see Exactly, my ponytail is exactly over, this is where her nose is at. And that's kind of where I like to put everything. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out just a little bit, and I'm gonna take this out because I'm gonna cut on the inside of that ponytail instead of on the outside of it. So I'm gonna take that out to where I can almost get and as you can see, I'm kind of holding this out, just like so. And really what I'm gonna do, and I'm just gonna cut this directly straight up. And the reason why I wanna cut on the outside of the ponytail is so I can hold that tension as I'm cutting from underneath. We are going to see that we've got a little bit more of an angle happening down through here. Now what I wanna do, is I'm going to take these sections right through here. I wanna cut this as close to this as possible. And so you can see where this portion, as I bring this forward, I'm gonna to have to bring this ponytail out just a little bit, just like that. So to where it almost kind of matched. And so brought that out and I'm still kind of over directing this forward as you can see from that top angle, kind of bringing that forward. Now hold on to this, just like so, and then, okay. So now what I wanna do, come over here, and I'm just going to hold this forward, and I'm gonna look at where this is laying. So as that kind of comes out, 
We want to bring that ponytail out a little bit further. But just like there. Come over here, make sure it's over directed. And then boom. Cut it just like that. Boom. So there we go. Now disclaimer, you can cut this longer. It does not have to be this short. So the longest portion where that is, I have to bring this ponytail up a lot more. Now I'm just directing it straight up, straight up, straight up. Take that longest portion of that fringe, straight up, straight up, just like that. And it hits just about right there. Okay, I'm gonna bring it up a little bit past so we can hold this up. Yeah, and then hold that up just like that. Boom. Okay, now like I did before, you have these center portions just like that. Now you have these center portions, I'm gonna bring this forward to connect some of this hair. Bring it forward and I'm just going to connect, 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 just like that. Bring this forward. And you can really, you're just kind of eyeing this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Well, that, that's just perfect. You're just kind of eyeing this where your guide is at. Rushing this forward. What? 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 Sorry, brushing this forward. I'm not rushing anything. I'm not rushing him. Brushing it forward. And I'll go all the way back to that center portion, seeing all the hair that is going to reach. Push that forward. Take off small portions of that. Same thing over here on this side. Press that down, push this forward. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut a little bit of this length off, just a little bit, not a lot. Kind of like that bottom couple inches. Now, the really amazing thing is that these are very, very similar. DIYing at home, getting it professionally cut. The cool thing is that styling can still be done very similar. You can use a brush that I used on the professional cut one, or you can use a round brush. You can let it air dry, bring out some of that wave and that texture in the hair. So, but really what I wanna do is, I'm gonna blow dry similar, but I'm gonna put a little bit more bend in it. Just a little bit. So, let's go ahead and do that now. similar and you can see how styling it can be just a tweak of like a little bit of a round brush can bring out a little bit more texture in that which is super super fun now again I'm gonna go in and do a very similar kind of cutting in the front area to really just make sure that it's got that same kind of angle but I'm gonna go a little bit steeper with it you know, instead of it being like a little bit more kind of shallow like that, we're gonna go a little bit steeper like that. So it would really work with like a curtain kind of look to it. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna take and we're gonna come in here and we're gonna slightly just point cut, just like so, and lighten up that. And we're still gonna keep that angle because if I was going to brush down just like that, you're gonna see how that angle is still very much like that. And of course, I kicked a lot of it out because of how it's styled. Same kind of concept, come in, and we're just going to really just take off some of those corners. Now, of course, this is with a mannequin head, so I'm actually holding it right on the skin. But if I was working on a real person, I would come in and take this hair, 
get some of that out of the way. And then I would just put that in my comb, just like so. And then I can really just point cut just like that, okay? Now, if you wanted to remove just a little bit of weight, some of that fringe so it wasn't so heavy, you could do that as well. Come in, flip it upside down, just like that, and take out a little bit of weight. Through here, come in, flip it up, take out a little bit of weight. And so you're just lightening that up just a little bit through that area to create this fun kind of look. And of course, with a mannequin head, it might jump up just a little bit, but if this was on a real person, this fringe would be hanging like absolutely perfect. So, ah, that's what's so fun about this is it's just texture. And then again, blowing this out with just a little bit more wave versus something super straight. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Seriously, I'm, we've got our professional version here. We've got our DIY version here. Very similar. You know, this haircut is going to most likely be more precision based. Everything's gonna be blending. This, of course, is going to be a little bit more shoppy. It's DIY, right? Everything's holed into the sections and whatnot. But with both versions, I hope you guys got something out of today's video. And, you know, whether or not you choose to go in to see a professional, whether or not you choose to do it yourself, it doesn't really matter. Hair is the most important accessory you're gonna wear. My name is Jake Thompson. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you guys in the next video. It was a magnificent thing you did. It was instinct. I went crazy. <laughs>